Okay, what I'm showing you here is the design for a Gamgee trap for the fruit piercing moth. Uh, you'll see here this is a, a sketch of a completed trap. Uh, the wire ring on the bottom is about 230 to 250 millimeters diameter. Use fly screen for a funnel like effect. It needs to be fly screen or a very open mesh. If it's a shade cloth, it needs to be very, very open. It could be that even um, bird netting, small bird netting, may even do the job. At the top, it's gathered with hay bale twine or something similar, and it's also suspended from that point. And altogether, the height is somewhere around 600 to 800 millimetres. Okay, so let's have a look at these uh, different components. Uh, the first component that you want to make up is the ring for the bottom, which is, as I said, about 230 to 250 millimetres in diameter. Now you see it's got a cross piece of wire in the middle, and the wire is twisted and turned upwards so that there are two spikes standing out and that's where the bait goes right that goes up inside the netting and the bait there uh, your ripest possible fruit your sweetest smelling fruit for fruit piercing moth that's where that goes now the other things that you will need of course you need some twine to tie up the uh, the top and to make your cylinder of netting in the first place you then need some light wire or a stapler or a good hand at sewing or even the, the clips that they use on uh, a fence the clip wire mesh onto a fence you could use that and your piece of mesh here's a piece of uh, old fly screen out of a out of a door that's been recovered and this piece is here is about 800 it's about 800 across where we're going to wind it around the uh, the wire and this piece is about 900 high okay so that's all the components that you need I'm going to make it up now and we'll have a look at the finished product by photo okay so here's the completed um, fruit piercing moth Gamgee trap uh, first invented by my father Fred Gamgee <laughs> And you see inside what we have, there's some nice ripe orange to bait it. The bottom of the trap there is just over half a meter above the ground. Okay, the moths go in, they feed on the bait in there, and then they take off vertically. So they go up into the top part and they get tangled up in the top part of that moth and you can remove them and do whatever you want with them after that. I've mounted this one on some poles that were convenient. Um, it should be mounted on something reasonably solid so it doesn't blow away obviously and uh, tethered a little bit so that it doesn't swing too much in the breeze. Uh, here what I've done is I've just used some light wire to tether it to my tripod so it doesn't swing around. Okay, hope you have fun creating the Gamgee trap.